Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am bringing you this week's What's For Dinner. I have three very simple and easy meal ideas that were so delicious and take no time at all to make. I really wanted to think of recipes that you probably have the ingredients on hand in your pantry or in your fridge since we're all kind of in isolation or quarantine right now. I wanted them to be something just quick and simple that you can get on the table for your family. So I hope you guys enjoy these. I do have a couple of repeat recipes as well as a new recipe that we tried that was so yummy and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I also want to mention that today's video is a collab with my friend Sky over at House and Home. Sky and I actually used to live in the same neighborhood right across the street from each other and we just instantly became great friends. She is one of my favorite people in the entire world. Something I love about her is like when you are in her presence you just feel so calm and at ease. She just has this spirit that is just so kind and so in inviting and I know you guys are going to love her. She is an incredible mom to three kiddos. She has Luca, Theo, and Myla and on top of all of that she is incredible at home decorating. She and her husband actually own their own home decor shop. That's kind of a tongue twister and it's actually called House and Home. So I will leave the website and all the information down below for you guys in the description box that you can go and check it out. And if you don't believe me, just check out her Instagram account. It is seriously so beautiful. Every time I go over to her house, I just like sit in awe at how gorgeous everything is. Um, her channel is all about like lifestyle, home decor, recipes, family, kind of the same thing as my channel. So I know you guys are going to love her. She is getting really close to a thousand subscribers. So let's get her to a thousand. Go over, check her out, subscribe to her. I know you guys are going to love following along and be sure to check out her what's for dinner as well because she's going to be giving you guys some great meal inspiration. So Without further ado, let's go ahead and get cooking. Right, so tonight for dinner, we are making a super simple ravioli pasta dish that is gonna taste amazing. I actually had a very similar dish at um, Maggiano's one time, and so I came home and tried to recreate it. So I think I pretty much nailed it. It is so tasty and very, very simple to make. I'm gonna kind of start somewhat of an Alfredo sauce, but not go all the way with everything that I would normally put in my Alfredo sauce. So I'm gonna have some heavy whipping cream, sour cream parmesan a little bit of lemon juice garlic clove and crushed red pepper flakes kind of let that all marry together and start getting warm and then i'll add in just a little bit of red sauce and then we'll just layer that on top of our cooked ravioli y'all it is so amazing oh my gosh you're just gonna love it and then to go alongside of it we're gonna have a little bit of kale salad so i'm gonna go ahead and get the pasta water boiling for this and then start on our sauce I'm looking over here already got our stuff. I didn't even know you did this. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let me hit this uh, switch real quick, too. <laughs> get us boiling, B. That's what I do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get some butter and olive oil in this pan, and then I'll add in my garlic and crushed red pepper flakes. And there's some salt in this water, too. Okay, Bonky, look at you. I might even drop some olive oil in there. Oh my gosh, you are crazy. I'm doing it. Okay. Somebody told us one time that it helps your noodles not stick together. Okay, well, we will, we will trust what the people say. You want some olive oil in here? Yeah. How much? Go till I say stop. Oh, uh, tablespoon? No, keep on going. Okay, that's Two good. tablespoons? That's good. Tablespoon and a half. I can't with you. That's probably only like one tablespoon, honestly. Probably. And clearly, you're not the one to measure. Nope. So to this butter and sauteed garlic, I'm just going to go in and add a little bit of lemon juice. This is just to give it some acidity. If you don't have lemon juice, you can totally add in a splash of apple cider vinegar. Okay, next up we're going to add in some heavy whipping cream. I'll tell you when to stop me. Keep going. What? Yes. Come on now. That's Monkey. Oh my god. I'm going to kill you. Okay, that's good. And then I'm just adding in one little like tablespoon or teaspoon I should say of sour cream and this is just to thicken it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so to our sauce, you can kind of see it bubbling. I'm just gonna add in some Parmesan, kind of let this come together, and then we'll add in the red sauce. And now that my water is boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my ravioli. Check your packaging, but normally they don't need to cook but for like three to five minutes, and they're ready to come out. Raviolis are done. Our sauce is looking good. We're gonna go ahead and make our um, kale salads. We're just gonna use this Olive Garden dressing on them tonight with a little bit of Parmesan, maybe a crouton, and then I'm gonna go ahead and plate up our raviolis. And then I like just a little bit of pesto on mine. Bucky doesn't love the pesto, but I think it's so good. And that is it. It is so simple and it's so good. Bunky likes more um, of the red. Like the. I'm, I'm just going to go with it. Oh, I was going to say, normally he'll put more of the, I keep wanting to call it marinara pasta sauce. Tomato sauce. Yeah, on his. Um, you think that's enough of that? Yeah, I think it's good. Okay. Mm, I'm going to leave, um, I'm going to put this in like a little container and use it on like a little pizza tomorrow for lunch. Yes, girl. Yeah, honey. Okay. What you salads. do a little pesto? Yeah, because sometimes I put the pesto and you don't like it. Well, let's see. I might try it on the side. Okay. All right, my friends. That's what's for dinner tonight. Funky like said it was delicious. It's delicious. And it literally took like 15, 20 minutes max. It was like 15. Yeah. All right, y'all. So tonight we are having another super simple recipe that you have seen us make and that we love. It's one of our tried and trues. So um, we're gonna have chicken fajitas. I have a little bit of fajita seasoning left. We're not gonna use all this chicken. We'll just use a few pieces and then freeze the rest of it. This is like some leftover rotel. Bunky wants a big tortilla. I want a small tortilla. We're gonna um, shred up some lettuce. We have some jalapenos, sour cream, cheese. We gotta find your salsa. It's in the fridge. What else? Okay, we're gonna get these chicken. We're gonna, get these chickens. We're gonna get these chickens on the stove and some fajita seasoning. This is literally the easiest meal. It takes like 10 minutes. I can't wait. I'm hungry. Okay, we'll put the pan on. Oh, I don't know where that's in here. I'm just kidding. The place that you uh, left it because you loaded it. The place I live. Kitchen life. Do y'all like my cute little Easter stuff? I think it's so <laughs> precious. Okay, put your pan down. Oh, sorry. Turn us on. Light? No. Oh, oh gosh. I'm gonna kill us with gas flames, Bonky. There she blows. I need some Earl. Okay, so I want you guys to leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite meal is that you have cooked during this quarantine. What has your family been wanting? What have you been cooking? What has been your favorite thing? Let me know. We could all use some great meal inspiration. So if you have an idea, put it down in the comments so that we can all read them. I'm gonna show you my super special move. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Dang. Bam! <laughs> shredded lettuce. You're crazy. Okay, y'all. Besides my piece shredded lettuce, chicken is looking good. It's almost done. And then all we have to do is heat up our tortillas to start assembling. This is seriously. So easy. And it's so yummy. Mm -hmm. I know. We're serving the fact that I'm probably gonna make a quesadilla out of mine. Still easy though. Oh my gosh, you're wild. I 
to. I'll do it with my hand. Okay, do it. You want me to turn it? Yeah. Oh, oh my. What are you doing over here? I know, but he, can you that be yours? I don't want to. No, I've got a big one. Here's a big one. I don't want that. Well, you're going to have to eat it. Bunky is way too crispy for me. No way, dude. Look Please. At it. Okay, we'll take it off. Mmm, yum. Where's your plate? I don't have one yet. Oh my gosh. Pretend Are you sure fun. I can't just... Yeah, you can t totally eat that. It's oh good. Oh my gosh. You don't want to eat it? It's fine. You sure? I'm I mean, not you don't have to. Don't eat that. No, it's fine. It's not fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, tell us what you're doing. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm putting cheese on here. And red onion. Yeah, and then some chicken. Are you gonna put your jalapenos on there too? I'm gonna have to cut my chicken a little bit finer. Cause I'm gonna, you know, have it in a mm -hmm. folded form. Yeah. Yeah, I need a fork for my jalapenos, please. with dinner. <laughs> Bunky's quesadilla is ready. Mm. Is it ready? Oh no. What do you think? Yeah. For mm. sure. Pretty close. Let's give it another second. Looks good. Let's turn the heat off. Let it just sit there. And hang out. Melt. See what the other side looks like too. Okay. Ooh, that side's real pretty. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that crunch? Yeah, I heard it. Okay. I'm gonna do. Th I'm gonna do thirds. Okay. Oh yeah. Mmm. -hmm. Ooh. And now he's gonna put a sour cream and lettuce and all that stuff on top. Salsa. Mm -hmm. And fajitas is a what's for dinner tonight. And they were so good. They're so good. Wow. That chicken, that like this packet, fajita seasoning packet, mm -hmm. is so much flavor. Delicious, just I, like that. I always add extra hot sauce to mine, and I totally forgot until after I finished it, and I was very sad, but I didn't even miss it because the fajita seasoning was so flavorful. So anyways, that's what's for dinner tonight, y'all. So tonight for dinner, we're actually gonna make some chicken spaghetti, which I have never made before, and I am so excited to try it. I have my chicken breast here, and then I also have my crock pot out. I decided I would just let my chicken kind of cook all day in the crock pot, that way it has lots of flavor. It's super simple, I don't have to fiddle with it, and then it'll be done by the time um, we need to prep the rest of this meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my crock pot down with just a little bit of Pam, add in my chicken, and then I will just top it with some Italian dressing, let it sit in here and cook all day day also I feel like by cooking it in here it'll like help um, the chicken to retain the moisture and keep it like super moist so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started and later on we'll assemble the rest of this dish y'all so it's a little bit later now and my chicken is done cooking in the crock pot it is literally just like fork tender fall apart yummy goodness it has so much flavor and I went ahead and took it out of the crock pot we're gonna shred it and add in our pasta sauce and I wanted to tell you guys I actually got this recipe from my friend Kathy and she also has a YouTube channel called living gratefully and I will link it down below for you guys in the description box but she is one of my favorite people like literally the sweetest soul ever and and she shared this recipe on her channel last week and I was like, I've got to make this. It looks so good and so 
simple. So anyways, I will link that down below for you guys, but I'm gonna flip you around. We're gonna shred this chicken and add in our pasta sauce. She did not add cheddar cheese to hers, but I'm gonna add a little bit of cheddar cheese to mine, um, just because I think it'll be so like yummy and gooey on the inside. So anyway, I'm gonna flip you around and we're gonna finish making this chicken spaghetti. Okay, so I've got my um, chicken right here, and to that, I'm just gonna add an entire jar of whatever pasta sauce you want and then we'll shred it and add some cheese to it. That was about half a jar I was starting with there. Yeah, we're, we had a little bit left over, so I'm, I might have to get some more from another jar. Bunky's going with the two fork method there. Yeah, what could I do? I could get your uh, bear claws out again. <laughs> mm. That's working perfectly. <laughs> This chicken is like so tender. Okay, so I did add in just a little bit more um, pasta sauce from another jar since ours wasn't all the way full. Um, you want it to be pretty moist. And then we have like three things of Parmesan here, like three different kinds. So you wanna use a lot of Parm and then you wanna have Parm to top it with. I'm gonna add in about half a cup to a cup of this cheddar cheese. Then I just have a teeny bit of this Parmesan left, so I'll throw that in. Throw in some of this. <laughs> throw in some of this kind. Why not? And then toss that all together. Okay, so I've got my baking dish here. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss all of this into my baking dish, and then we'll get it into the oven. Okay, so now that I've got this in my baking dish, I'm just gonna top it with some more Parmesan cheese and then pop it in the oven. We have the oven preheating to 375. And you just wanna put it in there to melt all of this together because the chicken's already cooked. Okay, so while that is in the oven, I just have my pot of water right here. We're gonna go ahead and boil that and then put in our pasta so everything should be done about the same time. Okay, it's been in there for about 15, 20 minutes. And I did let it roll for just a second too. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, noodles are done. Bunky, I'm gonna let you drain these. I get nervous because it's so hot. I don't wanna burn myself. But I'll let you burn yourself. You'd rather me get burned. <laughs> Gloves. I'm so excited to eat this. It's pretty neat looking. Bunky just loaded the dishwasher. Got every single one of them out too. Thank you, all good, okay. All right, let's plate this up. It's kind of like um, disassembled chicken parmigiana. Don't you think? Like it kind of really is. It's very, yeah, I think this is gonna be great. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Y'all, tell me, does that not look so good? And this was the simplest thing ever. There's like five ingredients. Mm -hmm. And I tasted the chicken before it um, went on here, you know, uh -huh. and it was delicious just by itself. So many things you could probably do with that. I know, I'm definitely gonna start cooking our chicken in the crock pot because I don't have to fiddle with it. It cooked by itself all day. It was tender. <laughs> Juicy. <laughs> that was funny. You want, a, you want a fork, girl? Yeah. Big or small? Bunky. Little fork. I only eat off a little fork. Okay, we'll take a bite and tell y'all how I like it. 
Well, Bonk Queen? Yes? I would say I'm not mad about it. You love it? It's good. Okay, I was just sitting here thinking, like, um, it's like chicken parm. It doesn't have, like, the crust, you know, the chicken parm. Yeah. So it's probably a little bit healthier for us, right. honestly. Yeah, it's really not. I mean, well, mm. it's not as bad. It's not fried. It's good. Mm-hmm. I don't know what else to say. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends. So that is going to do it for this week's What's for Dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got lots of great meal inspiration. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know which meal you are most excited to make for your family. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave if you want to see more recipe ideas. And give this video a thumbs up if you guys are loving these What's for Dinners. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I love you all so much. We're thinking of you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Hey, go! Bunky, if you do that wink at me one more time, I'm going to kill you. Y'all, 30 more days in this house with this guy. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> You're so silly, B. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get these chickens on the stove. Bok, bok. That was good. That was funny. It wasn't funny. I thought it was. Okay. We're